Welcome back everyone, I'm Doug McDonald. Today we are going to be doing the T-Track installation, uh, cut and install and the fence. I changed my mind, I'm not doing a 90 degree fence, I'm just going to do one along the X-axis there. Um, as long as my pieces are square, everything should be square to the machine anyway. Um, because uh, I, I change up my work sizes all the time. Um, so I'm just going to do uh, just a 90 degree um, fence on the x-axis there. So come on in and we'll, uh, we'll get this machine up and running, cutting the T-track and the fencing. Okay, so we're just about to home our machine here. So we're going to come down here on the interface. We're going to hit Home All Axis. So everything is home there. And we're just gonna zero everything. Oh, everything's already zeroed out. So we'll zero and zero our <coughs> Z over here. Um, as this G code is running from the back left corner, which is my home, uh, we're running it off of that. Um, just it was a lot easier to program it that way um, for cutting this wise. Um, so I'm gonna get this zeroed and we'll get to cutting. Okay, we got the Z zeroed, or X and Y zeroed. We're gonna run, come into here. We're gonna hit load file. We're gonna go down to our T track, and we're gonna hit run file. Slides right down in there, and I'm just gonna leave enough just so I can slide my actual T nut in there, and then these will get anchored down with some screws. Just a perfect fit, just nice and snug. more will go up the top there so I just realized the screws I bought are too long and the threads actually go past what's left of the actual wasteboard um, so I'm gonna have to continue this another day but I'm gonna put these dowels in for the dowel fence there and I miscalculated I thought I had um, 16 pieces, but I do have another two full lengths that I'll just cut and place in there or I might even just put those two full lengths one on each side and then just take those three out that one there That one and that one and just put those two full lengths in But we'll carry on tomorrow So I finally got the right screws so I'm just going to begin anchoring these down. 
I use this clamp as my spacer in there, just enough that I can get it in, and then that I'm just going to split the difference evenly. Um, and obviously there's going to be times where I won't be able to use that area, I'll just have to use some double sided tape or just move the board piece out and utilize the space I got, maybe put a spacer in there to square it up to the, the fence. So yeah, we'll get this anchored down and go from there. So I got all the T-track down, I put the full strip here. Um, there's a little spot up there that I might fill in, I'm not 100% sure yet. I got all these in, anchored down. It's just taking the clamp, sliding her in, and take it wherever do I need so I can put it to the four corners or in the middle if I need to. It's got a little bit of a warpage. Yeah. So that's the end of this video. Um, next video, we're probably going to be making a dust shoe um, or our first cut. Well, I haven't fully decided what I'm, what I'm doing yet. Um, I want to do a calibration video, but we'll see where that goes. So thanks for staying, tuning in and and going along with the, the build here. Um, stay tuned for the next one.